It's Monday. Phil Lindemann with your Crystal 93 News at Noon. Heavy snows incoming tonight through tomorrow. National Weather Service predicts up to 20 inches for some areas in Summit and Eagle Counties. You can expect winds over 60 miles per hour. This weekend was busier than any other time this year by 12,000 cars on I-70. More than 147,000 braved the mountain corridor despite multiple crashes and closures. Last night at 8, just one car went through the Johnson Tunnels, and it still set a record. You can expect Vail Pass to close at least once during this incoming storm because history says that it will. The Vail Daily went through years of CDOT data. They found that Vail Pass closes more often during heavy winters with big snows. Most of those extended closures were four to five hours long and caused by multiple wrecks, often involving a semi or two. New details now on a serious car crash that closed Highway 9 near Green Mountain Reservoir for hours on Saturday. State Patrol confirms three people were injured, but no one was killed on scene when a Subaru WRX hit a Ram 3500 head-on. A 23-year-old woman from Dallas did suffer life-threatening injuries. Troopers believe speeding was to blame. Dozens of potential jurors are in Summit County Court today for opening day of the Miles Tovar manslaughter trial. That trial will continue for two weeks. Tovar has been waiting four years for this day. He is accused of killing his roommate in 2019 during a violent struggle. In court this afternoon are three former school district employees. All three are tied to the Summit Middle School sex assault scandal, including former principal Greg Guevara. A month ago, a fourth employee did plead guilty for failing to report that alleged abuse. Wolves are in Colorado to stay, and Parks and Wildlife is giving you the tools to stay safe. Join wildlife officers tonight at Silverthorne Pavilion for a Learning to Live with Wolves seminar. They will also answer questions about recent mountain lion encounters. That's tonight at 5.30, Silverthorne Pavilion. Local avalanche danger is considerable today above treeline in Summit County and the Vale area. A special avalanche watch is good for the Gore Range and the Holy Cross Wilderness tonight through Wednesday. This past Friday, two skiers were injured by a large avalanche in the Pitkin Creek area of the Gore Range just across from East Vale. A dog was also caught in that slide. The skiers and the dog are expected to recover. A veteran paramedic died during the response. 61-year-old Steve Zuckerman was on that rescue call. He served for decades with Beaver Creek Ski Patrol, Vail Mountain Rescue, and Eagle County Paramedic Services. In sports, the Nuggets beat the Warriors last night 119-103. Vail's own River Radimus got the first World Cup podium of his career on Saturday, and it happened on U.S. snow, giant slalom at Palisades Tahoe. Radimus tells the AP, It has been a long time coming. Sometimes, I thought it would never come. And in local sports, brought to you by Cassandra Schultz and Associates with American Family in Dillon. Saturday was race two of the Copper Uphill Series, where Noah Williams was first overall. Jonah Ianito was first for the ladies. Will Lewis, Krista Hall, Justin Teachin, and Amy Spafford won the heavy metal and the split board divisions. Phil Lindemann, Crystal 93 News.